G'day, I'm Ash, hope you're all doing fantastic well. And unfortunately, it is that time of the year. Operation Summer is kicking into full effect from August the 6th until the 30th of August 2021. And for that, we're doing a regular sort of task-based event. And you can get yourself a Buccaneer S1, which is rank uh, 6 but a Britain event vehicle. And it's essentially a really disappointing top tier vehicle. Uh, I understand the importance for its addition, but there is a whole heap of other vehicles as well. A rank 2 Swedish premium, the um, Marieski 2, I think that's how you pronounce it. There is a Karchi tank, a BMD4 as well for high tier reward. You've got for naval, you've got an Italian uh, destroyer, and then you've got a rank 5 uh, Bussard, which is a German thing. It's one of some unique decorations. Now, I must say this event vehicle being the top tier reward is quite disappointing. Despite it being the first variant of the uh, Buccaneer S1, it really doesn't seal, suit a need or fill a gap in the main tech tree as so it's suitable for an event aircraft. But if you really want it, those can get it. And, you know, people who don't necessarily want it will not go for this. But they have the audacity to say, on the flip side, although aspiring pilots' as aircraft can now fully focus on delivering their destructive potential to unfortunate ground targets, quote, while their allies keep the air clear of any bogeys. This thing doesn't get any air-to-air ordnance at all. So it's a mystery to why the S1 variant is going to be added. Yeah, it doesn't fit a place in the meta. It's not meta a vehicle at all. I think that's a good thing for some event vehicles, but for a top tier aircraft that a lot of people play realistic battles on arcade, this aircraft will not be of use unless you're using it in ground forces or you're using it in naval. And that's a real damn shame because well, the Buccaneer already exists. Why would you take another vehicle like that into ground forces when this thing's got air-to-air -air missiles and flares? Essentially, this is a collector's vehicle and is practically useless. So yeah, there's that. Other than that, we're getting an Italian destroyer and a German event vehicle, which for naval, fair enough. There's a Karchi, which is an inflatable, or should I say floatable in amphibious vehicle, and the BMD-4, which is also an amphibious vehicle. Quite a bit of a theme here. Uh, and then, well, no one really cares about naval anyway. And that's just a weird state of naval. Now, the tasks themselves for the Operation Summer are similar to all other events, in which you complete a series of tasks and, well, you can basically earn a, a series number of stars to unlock a vehicle. Now, I quite like the look of the Rank 2 vehicle that is coming. It's very similar to the Fokker DXI, which we already have in-game. But everything else looks kind of a bit meh. Now, you will be able to sell the top rewards as coupons and trade it after the event. And prizes are received in form of coupons will be available for trading on the market from the 3rd of September 2021. And the time of which the coupon can be traded and viewed in game for the, the coupon description. And the option of trading each coupon separately depends on the time of its uh, receipt. It doesn't depend on vehicle coupons. So the Buccaneer, the BMD4 and the Buzzard can be sold. But unlike the Battle Pass, well... There seems to be a whole use or range of vehicles that are completely and utterly useless. A lot of people gave me hate for the A6M6 video I did yesterday. Fair enough. Uh, but it still doesn't... It's a heavy zero. Again, it's, it was nice to see event vehicles come out for nations that aren't just USA, Germany, and Russia. And I like the fact that there are a variety of choices. But, in, in hindsight... This kind of thing is kind of easy. At least it isn't a build-a-thon event where we, you only have, say, maybe a, a less than a week and you have to grind intensely for 10 hours a day to get some parts to randomly unlock and then build an IS-7, right? At least it isn't some form of World War mode or some forcible World War II Chronicles. And at least it isn't a, I don't know, a heavier grind or focused in a specific uh, sort of type of uh, battle. Now, it is unfortunate because it's a horrible time to be a pilot for the summer event. And with the battle pass of having even more horrible reward, you really don't have a lot of options. You've got a very heavy zero. You've got another bomber aircraft, which is practically useless in air RB. You have... That's it. That, that, that's all you've got, really. And a Swedish low tier vehicle, which could be quite fun. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'd be interested to know what you think of the current season of events and the earliest we could see a major update is probably early to late september which is a fair while away so i suppose these event vehicles are supposed to tide us over all i have to say is it's a rather disappointing time to be a pilot what absolute load of trash should have called it operation bummer not operation suffer